Hey, Bruce Naylor here with The Frugal Tech. Thanks so much for watching my video. I always appreciate when you like my videos and I always enjoy your comments down below. Uh, I thought it'd be time to do a brief channel update, but also more importantly, answer some questions that are in the comments. I uh, Sometimes I get busy, don't always have time to respond. And so I pulled out some of my uh, favorite questions that I received here recently in the channel. So here we go. Question number one is from John uh, Camaro Lee, who writes, do you think the smartphone will replace the PC? Um, it depends on right now on the region of the world that you live in, but certain certainly there's uh, countries out there right now where the phone is basically all people have is all they really need, right? For the mail, um, Facebook, all that sort of thing they can do right on their phones. Now, that being said, we're seeing more and more powerful smartphones out there, 64-bit processors, ability to address more memory, more storage. Uh, so, you know, it sort of looks like th things are heading that way. You know, Microsoft rolling out Continuum that gives that same user experience, the ability to eventually wirelessly connect to displays and other peripherals. Certainly, it does look like it's going that way, or it could go that way. Now, another token, the desktop PC, the laptop, even the Ultrabook, uh, isn't going anywhere soon. Phones simply aren't powerful enough yet to offer enough storage and device uh, ability to work with different devices very easily. So that's still a ways down the road. Next question comes from James Myers. Is Thunderbolt 3.0 better or worse than USB-C? Well, how about this? How about that it's sort of the same uh, when we're talking about the Apple implementation of Thunderbolt 3, only better. In other words, US or Thunderbolt 3 is a superset of USB 3.1 standard. So Apple's planning on using the um, USB-C connector, using the 3.1 uh, specification, and it'll be able to do things like transfer data up to 20 gigabits per second, uh, support for DisplayPort 1.2, charging a device up to 100 watts, and also third generation PCI Express compatibility. Now, the thing is, with a active copper connection with this, you'll be able to achieve up to 40 gigabits per second data transfer rate. So it's uh, the same yet better, if that makes any sense. The thing is, though, uh, is pretty much, I think, going to be just a Mac thing. I don't really think you're going to see Thunderbolt 3 outgoing mainstream in the PC market. Okay, the next question comes from Chuck Davis, who writes, I just downloaded Windows 10 last week, and I think Windows 10 is great for several reasons. I didn't realize how bad 8 or 8.1 was until I got 10. I'm curious, why didn't Windows have 9? Thanks, Chuck. Well, Microsoft has basically said, look, they want to get away from, as far away from the Windows 8 thing as they can, and Windows 10 represents a new generation of Windows, new thinking of Windows, and a reinvention of Windows. Uh, so it's just as much marketing as anything else. It could have easily been Windows 9. In fact, even yours truly thought it would originally have been called Windows 9. But Microsoft surprises. It's a marketing thing at the end of the day. The next is not a question, just a statement. It's from Faith in Games. It says, hey, I was watching some of your newer and older vids. Nice to see the quality has improved in four years. Keep up the good work. Hey, thanks, Faith in Games. I've really been working hard on it, improving video quality, content, lighting, cameras, uh, video editing, uh, you know, all that. I've really attempted to kind of work on my channel, make it grow, have a lot of fun, and meet great community members such as yourself. Thank you so much. Okay, the next is not a question, it's a statement, and it was about the five things I didn't like about the MacBook Pro. Uh, from Philip Miltek says, you, sir, should do your research and not buy a MacBook if you need all those things. Then you should buy a Lenovo W540 and carry six pounds with you every day. Um, so it basically, when I made the video, it never occurred to me to let people know in advance I already did my research. I've already owned two prior generations MacBook Pros, and I knew all but one item was a problem. I made the video, even though I knew these things existed, it was still trade-offs that I hated to make spending that much money on a laptop. Um, so what I've done is I went back and added an annotation to the video with a disclaimer, but of, of course I did my research. I owned two MacBook Pros. Just because 
uh, you know something in advance doesn't mean you necessarily have to like it or, you know, think that things couldn't be better. And that's why I made that video. Okay, the next question comes from Knox Harrington, who writes, Hey, Bruce, can you please do a video on compressing footage for YouTube? Your footage looks amazing. Thanks. Well, I've worked really hard and I've tried different uh, techniques on there. I think what I'll do is I'll make a video about my workflow in the future. And you can see from the time I record the video, take it through editing, and then, you know, what, you know, what I do after that. So uh, I think that's a good idea for a future somewhere down the road. But I tell you, you know, I'm still not that great at it. So <laughs> I do the best I can, but I'm really critical over color and exposure and that kind of thing, trying to get the best performance I can out of my gear. The next is another statement. This comes from Knox Harrington. I want to respond to this. Hey, Bruce. Uh, Windows 10 is a huge fail, according to many PC forms across the world. It's full of bugs and it's practically unusable at the moment. This has not been my experience whatsoever. I find Windows 10 to be smooth, relatively bug-free. Yes, there was problems with the upgrades, but hey, that's just, you know, comes part of the, you know, part and parcel with things at times. Now, Windows 10 was downloaded 14 million times within 24 hours, and as of today, over 50 million downloads of Windows 10. It is a success by any me you know, measure out there in the marketplace. And Microsoft wants to have a billion devices in the next few years running Windows 10, and I think they're going to succeed. Now, true, some people don't like Windows 10, but this always happens when there's a new version of Windows, right? People uh, didn't, there was some people didn't like Vista. There was people that didn't like Windows 7. They didn't like, uh, now they don't like uh, um, Windows 8. They, and of course, there's some who don't like Windows 10. But the bottom line is the vast majority of people are very pleased with Windows 10. It's going to be a huge success. In my mind, it already is. Another question I got is from James Myers, who writes, Hey, Frugal, uh, you had a refurbished MacBook. If so, how does the handling and performance differ from the same as a brand new MacBook? Well, if if it's the spec, same spec, same generation, it's going to perform exactly the same. This is the same computer. The only difference is Apple has gotten this machine back for a plethora of reasons or with some issue with it, it was returned. Maybe somebody even had buyer's remorse and brought it back for a refund. Apple can't sell this new again. So they moved it as refurbished. Now, another thing they do when they get ready to introduce a new machine, um, they'll take the existing inventory of older ones and put it in as refurbished. It's still a brand new computer, but it's sold as a refurbished. They're, if you're getting apples to apples refurb versus new, it should be exactly the same experience. And Apple does a first-class job when it comes to refurbished gear, unlike other manufacturers um, who give you much more limited warranties on a refurb. Uh, maybe they ship it to your box with no, uh, no information, no user guides, nothing like that. So in Apple's case, they do a remarkable job. Let's talk a little bit about the channel growth for July 2015. It was the really the most amazing month, I think, in the history of the channel. Just to share this with you, I had over 105,000 views, 197 shares, 2,948 likes, 164 dislikes, 1,462 comments, and get this, 1,508 new subscribers in the month of July. What do I attribute that to? I had a video that did really, really well. It was uh, 10 reasons why Windows 10 will be the most important operating system Microsoft has ever introduced. And that just really took off. And uh, it brought a lot of new subscribers. And I want to personally thank all of you for subscribing to the channel. And uh, I think on that note, I'm going to wrap up the video with this. Recently, I just got an email from YouTube. said, look, your channel's doing great. We want to reach out to you and talk to you about... Um, improving what you're doing and even getting better engagement because they were pleased with the performance of the channel. I could not do this without you folks watching my videos. Appreciate it so much. Hey, Bruce Naylor, The Frugal Tech. I'll talk to you later.